Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're all having a good morning, evening, night, whenever you're watching this video. I'm a little late on this, like about 30 minutes later, or whatever, but it's fine. We have the update notice for 315. Now this update is gonna be actually a lot earlier than usual. It's gonna start at 6 p.m. Pacific uh, like standard time, which is around nine o'clock for me since I live on the East Coast But yeah, it'll last for three hours So basically 9 to 12 p.m. If you live on the East Coast and then obviously if you live in you know sp uh, Specific time it'll be you know right here six to nine, but yeah, it's gonna be a lot earlier, which is very very nice I'm sure they'll extend it somehow, but they will extend it. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and let's just dive in and take a look at the notes so that we have on the um, on the uh, preview. So obviously a new story, chapter 16.5 quest in main stages. So with a chapter, typically they like to extend it. Now we didn't get it extended for the one. It actually came earlier, which was very nice. But I don't expect it for this one, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, we're going to get the continuation of uh, Chapter 16, basically. So that's going to be very, very nice. And then, obviously, the new festival character, or the Holy War festival character, as I should say, Assault Mode Meliodas, or they call him Berserk Meliodas, Assault Mode, right? So very, very nice. You already know, he's probably the most talked about character, even more so than the one. Um, yeah, I would say so very very cool that he's coming out. Obviously, you know, he's a festival unit reach 900 points and you get him for free uh, Quote-unquote free, but yeah Nice 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 there and with him comes new events, which is very very nice now This is interesting, right? So holy war festival event. There's gonna be a hawk pass It's like a hawk like loyalty shop thingy. It's it's weird. It's an all-new type of thing But we'll see how that works very interested in seeing how that works actually um and then you have hawk's awesome cards event which is very cool as well lucky box event and then obviously as always they have special missions for events so yeah very interested in seeing what like what it is and then we also have a list of events that are coming out with this update now you have diamond perks buff events one you know you got a two times player rank which is very very nice salvage increase hero enhanced increase very cool stuff coming out for this update and then we have the final boss coming as well which is gonna be Escanor. now um you know bond just came out two weeks ago so here we go with Escanor, right now i heard he is the hardest of all the final bosses he's actually very difficult so um yeah we'll see what the top whales use in terms of teams or we'll see what guys there are for final boss Escanor, but he is red. I heard mono was made specifically for him. So you have mono, you already had uh, ahead of the game. So there you go. But yeah, he is gonna be coming out as well. So very, very nice. Then they also have this, the lucky box event. It says you can win up to 1000 diamonds, which is crazy. Um, Very, very interested in seeing how that works. Um, I. I don't know if it's cumulative because it says up to a thousand diamonds. So we'll see. I'm sure it'll be like click a box and you get a certain number of diamonds. So very cool actually for free to play players. Um, if this is what I'm thinking it is, right? Unless it's just you pick a number and then they choose or something like that. But if it's literally you get a box full of diamonds or something, that would be very, very nice for free to play players because you know, free, uh, free gems or diamonds or whatever, is always nice to have so i'm very very curious as to how they're gonna do this but we'll see when the update actually goes alive um and then also um and again a special hawk pass it says collect hawk pass loyalty points and exchange them for special costumes i don't know what that means right because i don't know if we ever had this if we did uh, let me know in the comments but i don't think we ever had this so i'm curious to see what that is and then also a new growth event is coming out and, uh, nothing too crazy there but a new costume so obviously with assault mode you have three new costumes that you're probably gonna have to pay for with money or you can just wait until it comes out with gems so yeah you have assault mode meliodas costume but then you also have the 10 commandments costume now i am copying that zeldris and molascular outfit or like you know i have to i have to cop it gallon looks all right he kind of looks like a, a demon but um not no no pun intended but yeah he he looks all right 
And uh, I guess I can get Glocks. I mean, I kind of want all of them, but I don't want to pay $23 for all of these costumes. That's a lot. That's, <laughs> that is a lot of money. So we'll see when they come out what happens with that. But um, very cool costume sets there. And then, of course, you have Holy War Festival bundles. Now, these bundles are really, like, nice. Depending on the price, if they're, like, 23 something that's a, that's a really good deal. I'm not going to lie. So you got 150 50 of each of the cosmetic upgrade items so very nice there you have 90 um awakening you know i don't awakening things or whatever you want to call them uh the, the anvils ain't really that crazy and neither is the enhanced stones but this is the you know the awakening stones is a very very nice to have because i believe it takes 90 to max out a full set of equipment yeah i i believe so so that's basically like a, a free five, you know, five star, uh, whatever you want to call it, equipment set right there if you buy that. And then you also have this. This ticket is probably what everyone's going to buy. Um, You can literally randomly, by the way, randomly get Gother, Deanne, or Hawk and Oslo with that pack. Now, I will say this. I hope it's not $79.99. If it's $39.99 very good if it's 79.99 i don't know if it's worth it because 30 gems and one ticket granted you have one of the best characters in the game in that ticket um i honestly don't know if it's worth it but we'll see i don't have these two so even if i don't pull green gother i will be happy to get either of these two so yeah add them to the box sure i'll take it right um but yeah that's gonna be coming out so very good bundles actually i'm, I'm actually genuinely uh surprised that you know they decided to go ahead and make it like this very very good and then you have this knighthood competition uh stuff like that it doesn't really matter unless you play i believe this is like guild wars or something like that so it doesn't really matter if you play it so cool whatever um and then of course like i said in my previous video a couple days ago the 10 commandments are getting buffed very very nice um same heroes right same exact heroes um i believe it's the same exact increase so very very cool uh yeah and then arthur is going to be put into the race draw tickets and human tickets very very cool notice how he's not gonna be in part two tickets i believe they're gonna wait till part three to add him whenever we get a part three banner i believe that's when they're gonna add him but yeah until then he will be added to the uh, race draw ticket and like you know the r human race draw ticket or whatever you want to call it um and then these are all of the events that are ending now notice how it says removes the three festival heroes from the platinum shop that's because i don't think there's going to be any festival heroes in the platinum shop um because he is a holy war festival character so it's different from our regular fest characters that come out so very very um uh cool that they you know decided to do all of this stuff all of this uh is if you know all of these events are ending and that's pretty much it there's a lot of stuff that's ending pretty much all the anniversary stuff is gone so our anniversary is over come the update it was a very nice anniversary they gave us very very good free to play um items they gave us a lot of uh, you know equipment and stuff like that they gave us a lot of events in game like half stamina 100 percent death rate they gave us a lot of good stuff um final boss bond tower trials they gave us good things but all good things must come to an end overall i would give the anniversary probably like an 8 out of 10 very nice you know new characters a lot of gems a lot of uh free to play items that they gave us good content i would say um but yeah I would give it an 8 out of 10. New six new heroes in one banner, very you know, very good. Uh, even though the banner was uh very very sus, uh, yeah, it was still good. I think it was a good anniversary overall. So thank you, Net Marvel, for all the work that you did for it. And before I end this video, I do want to say thank you all so much for the kind words that you left on my post about my grandmother's passing. I really much appreciate it. I love all of you. You um, you are good to me. You are the best. Uh, I couldn't ask for a, a better family, a better gang than you guys. So thank you all so, so, so much for the kind words. Again, I love you all. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I talked long enough. If you did enjoy, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe if you're not already. And as always, everyone, I will see you all next time.